Daniel, I left without you. I'm sorry. What were you doing, man? Daniel, I'll bring the car around. Meet me at the front. Okay. All right. Thank you, Daniel. I always hate driving in the city. Yeah, let's go. It, oh no, I didn't want to come back yet. Goddamn. I'm sorry, Dan. Use them. Why I keep going through the door like that? All right, let's get out of here. Exit time. Car time. See ya, Eddie. I'll talk to you about the gossip later. Yeah, he doesn't care. What are you even typing right now, dude? It's probably talking about gossips. Oh, we need to go to the museum, right? Yeah, we need to go to the museum. We're going to the museum. Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's go, Daniel. We're going to the Museum of Natural History. Dr. Hans uh, Klampel will be there. Is he the scientist that uh, Chief was talking to on the phone? Dr. Clamp? What's his area of research? Well, according to the papers, he's working on a new theory. Uh, is it about the mit Let me guess. It's about the mitochondria. Mitochondria is something, but it seems to cover the whole genetic spectrum. Huh, weird. Huh, strange. That's odd. To have a PhD and be working in a museum, he's probably a CIA agent working undercover. He's probably no, or he's that, or he's one of the mad scientists that uh, that work on crazy experiments in the bottom of a museum. Well, he's pretty antisocial and doesn't like to waste time outside research. Hey, and the only one that antisocial around here. Oh, great! We're gonna have a grand time with this one. <laughs> I love your spirit eye. And why are you holding a gun in the car like that? I mean, guns. Is that a gun she's holding right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know where you're going with this. Just be careful this time, huh? Are you referring to the press conference? Damn. Yes. <laughs> uh, straight to the point. Daniel, why do you kiss the chief's butt? Oh, Daniel. She's calling you out, dude. Don't go like that. You two joined the force at the same time, didn't you? She's calling you some sauce. Don't go like that, Daniel. Yeah, but that was years ago. Now he's my boss. Doesn't mean he gotta kiss his ass. Museum looks lovely today. American Museum of Natural History. Let's go inside. It's been a while since I visited the museum. Same here, buddy. Hey, not at the museum. Haha, <laughs> I remember this place. Dinosaur exhibit. Loved these things when I was a kid. Same, man. Hmm. Looks like it's closed today. Then why are we here? If the down there he is. Let's see what the security guard can do for us today. Yeah, hell yeah, I get to walk around the museum. I hear the snow under my feet. Can I go down one of these rare lanes like a little kid? I've done that before. Super fun, not safe though. Don't try it. <laughs> hey, security. Hey there, how you doing? <laughs> he's, a, he's probably like one of those guys who watches TV on the job. I like you. Doing okay. Pretty cold today, though. How about yourself? Ah, oh, he's lovely. We're with the NYPD. We're looking for a Dr. Clamp. He works here, doesn't he? Please? Sure does. As a matter of fact, he's up there in his room right now. Dude, this is the best security guard ever. Did he do something? Yes, we're here to arrest him. No, we're here to arrest you, security, sir. Nah, we just want to talk to him. That's all. That's not how you spell want. <laughs> Thank you. It shouldn't take long. Nah, it's going to take its centuries. Place is pretty creepy without any people. You'll find him in the research lab on the second floor. Thank you. You're very kind for a security guard. It's been pretty busy for the past few weeks. Doesn't come out ever. <laughs> Thanks. Don't worry, Daniel. Coming right after after I explore this museum. Oh, by the way, could you sign in? It's policy. Let us keep track of who comes in. Yeah. Thanks, Aya. Gee, Daniel, are you sure you don't want to run down here and do it yourself? <laughs> Notebooks on the counter, thanks. <laughs> Tanner just expects me. I'm already down here anyway. Might as well. Is that a save? Who still uses a payphone these days? Let's see. Where is it? It's here, isn't it? Uh, yep, that should be enough unless you want to leave your number too. 
Wait, was that was that a joke? Was that <laughs> did that man really just say that? <laughs> oh god. Can I go in here? I should probably found Daniel and not mess around here. Yeah, it's, it doesn't want me to mess around. The game's like, nah, man. You want to get in here? You funny. You think we actually spent time making that big of a game? You funny. Well, I'm about to head on out of here. Hope you two get the information you need. Thank you, sir. Most security officers wouldn't leave in less than. Hey, Aya. Over here. It's over here, man. Thank you. I'm coming. But first... I got to explore. Hey, dinosaurs! Sweet! Let's go. Hey, it's open. Let's check it out. Excuse me. Hello? Hey! <laughs> Dr. Clamp? Dr. Clamp? Damn it, turn around, sir. I'm here. I hear you, but I'm working. Oh, he's sassy. <laughs> We're with the NYPD. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Turn around for a few minutes, damn it. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's like, I'm working. <laughs> He's a professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? Hmm. Hmm. What? What? This again? Uh, it's not the flashback memories again. Oh, that might be Dr. Clamp, isn't it? This man. It is Dr. Clamp. This man. I know him. I think. What's wrong? Are you okay, Aya? Y yeah. We'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. What? NYPD, huh? Why are you interested in my work? I don't like the look on your face. It looks like, oh god. <laughs> the suspect mentioned that the mitochondria would be set so-called, quote, end quote, free. Now, do you? That suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Yeah, it was Princess Amadala from the, from the planet Naboo. Since she mentioned mitochondria, we're hoping you could supply us with some, you know, so-called info. Ha 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 ha. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's like the job of the hut laugh. You two have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like. Let me drink some water. Nah, we don't. All I learned was it in seventh grade bio. Do you... Why why the music change all so dramatically? Hey, he has a pen in his pocket. Do you? The mitochondria possesses its own unique genetic code. Its own? Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Oh, this is some weird science crap going on. Mitochondria and its own separate oh god. Kinda like a parasite or something, huh? Parasite? That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. It's a, it's a parasite, dude. We cannot live without the mitochondria. Do you understand? The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we are absolute nothing. We, WWE, are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. <laughs> they just look at each other like, is this guy serious right now? Our brain, for example. Oh, he's gonna go on our science rant that we don't care about. Our brain, for example. The brain functions due to the interaction between axons and dendrites. I learned about that too, in school. This interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Did you know the mitochondria is capable of discharging 2,000 volts of like electricity? Why don't we like just blow up though? <laughs> This not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. Heat? Really? Then, the combustions from last night, they were... Ellipsis. For a human to burn and melt, 1600 degrees of heat must be generated. And let me guess, it's from the mitochondria. Clamp. There are several hundred mitochondria present within a single cell present within a single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body began functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. 
melting a human into a puddle of fluid would be a simple task with so much energy. So you're saying that the mitochondria ignited these people? You're insane, dude. <laughs> Professor, you may be right in that we need the mitochondria to live, but in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? <laughs> oh, ah, 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 ah. You have no idea. The mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. So we can become like Superman? Take this hand, for example. Before we're born, the hand is merely a glop of flesh. But when cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers first form. When the cells which make up the body aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. This signal is initiated by the mitochondria. When it is relayed, the genetic information in the nucleus is cut off and in essence dies. Interesting. The same can be said for aging. The mitochondria mutates ten times faster than cells. Of course, this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well. When too many mutant mitochondria multiply, energy production level decreases. The decrease in energy production is associated with the aging process. So, are you still stupid enough to say that we, WWE, are the higher species? Are you, are you on coke or something? I mean, goodness. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Xander's like, nah, this is bold. This is shenanigans. But you're not saying that the mitochondria is doing all this consciously, right? God damn it, give us a straight answer. I love Daniel's reactions. When I said that the mitochondria could mutate 10 times faster than normal cells, I also meant that they could evolve at a rate of 10 times faster. 9,000? Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise if they, pro if the pro if they process a power beyond their cognition. No surprise at all. Daniel's just flabbergasted. Are you serious right now? Are you super serial? Let me tell you something. Nah, you've already told us enough, dude. There is a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the scientist wanted to establish a connection with human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced back to, let me guess, the mitochondria. A single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world. Oh yeah. And with this, the mitochondrial theory spread through like wildfire. Mm hmm You know what they call the root of all of it all? Mitochondria Eve. Hmm. Huh. Splendid name, just incredible. Eve? This is all coming together now, huh? The suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve. What? <laughs> no, I missed what he had to say. Damn it. She called herself Eve, is that right? Sorry, but I've told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. Oh, your piece pretty much giving you all the middle finger and telling you to get out. I believe you know the way out. Damn. He is giving you all the middle finger and telling you to get out. Xander's just like, no! Nah. Hey! You better explain what the hell is going on here! Ah, ah, ah. Ah, and he just starts to type in a way. Typical. Daniel, forget it. Let's just go. God damn it. I know, right? Uh, it's night time now. Oh, we have to head back to the NYPD. Ah! 